is a gorgeous September Saturday in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We welcome you to the University of Michigan. The season opener, Appalachian State, the Mountaineers come to the big house to take on the University of Michigan Wolverines. And for the first time, the maize and blue take the field. Michigan, number four, Brandon Miner, and number 25, Johnny Sears. Julian Roush has an extremely strong leg. He thinks that this rule is not going to hurt him. And we'll see on this opening kick because it's a lot longer for these guys to run downfield and cover. Here we go. The college football season underway in Ann Arbor. And a line drive kick. Fielded at the 15-yard line. That's a tight end, Mike Massey, and he brings it out across the 30. And he to throw, looking to the far side, dumps it off to Massey. Still on his feet, shot down at the 38-yard line, first down Michigan. After getting cut down by Corey Lynch. Well, at least they got two for Michigan in that family. <laughs> Hard a big hole. Stiff arms his way inside the five. Wolverines on this here first possession of the season, and they're going to try to get Hart to the end zone. He does. Mike Hart, Jason Gingell. Males a point after. Of course, he's replacing Garrett Rivas as the Michigan. The spread has already forced Michigan into more of a nickel look. Five DBs. Third and four. They cash in on the third down. And maybe more. Off to the races. And going all the way to the end zone, the speedster Dexter Jackson. He was a Southern Conference 200-meter dash champion. And he ran away from the Michigan defense. Holy mackerel. Tom, the one thing we do to try and tie it at seven for Julian Roush. Good snap, good hold, and we are tied at seven. The Mountaineers walking into the big time in the regular season. Michigan is going to the shotgun this year. Here comes the blitz, and down goes Henny. Off the corner comes Pierre Banks, their leading tackler a season ago. Yesterday. And now they're hurt in field position. Edward steps up. He's in trouble. But he hangs on to the football, brings it out to the 20. And again, Craver in on the tackle. Hard in motion. And Henny to screen to Brandon Miner. Got a good block. And it's run out of bounds. Close to a first down. It appears to be very cold on that last drive. See if John Wiley, the coordinator, goes after him here. Good protection for Henny. Steps up, delivers a strike to the far side. First down for Adrian Arrington to the 25. A gain of seven. Well, a third down and four for the Wolverines. At the mountain near 20. Short drop for Henny. Looks to the middle of the field and finds Manningham for a first down at the 13. Good coverage by. Brandon Miner comes in for Hart. And on second down, Henny to throw it. Dumps it off to Matthew. Touchdown, Michigan. Touchdown. Is good by Jim Jess. Every day taken to practice. He said he's like my second father. He's dead. He, he, his father's name is Perry. Third down handoff, and it's good enough for a first down. So and a long six. And they're coming after Edwards. Steps up, delivers first down. What a hit by Adams, but hanging on to the football is Johns Johnson, the sophomore. 
We begin the second quarter with the Mountaineers of Appalachian State on the move, trailing by a touchdown. Richardson bounces off a couple of tackers and is inside the 25. And left tackle, I could tell it was shaken up on that last play. And here's a reverse the other way. A good block. And to the end zone, did he get in? No, shoved out of bounds, stepped out of bounds, actually, before he got there at the four-yard line. Dexter Jackson again, a gain of not the third one in. And now four of the top of your screen. Slam, catch made, and that is a touchdown for the Mountaineers. Hans Bettishon, born in Haiti, moved to Miami, the only married player on this Mountaineer team, and he celebrates with wife and daughter after that touchdown. Lots of... Point after is good. I know one thing, Charles. You and I have not seen Appalachian State. After, but as he sit back and play zone and try to force a punt. And they're coming after the quarterback, Kenny, being chased by Roman and has to throw it away. How about the Appalachians? For Kevin Richardson. Coco Hillary in motion. And they just throw a shovel pass there to Richardson. And he ran himself out of a first down. If he just sticks his nose straight up and threw it that short side. Well, a third in the yard. Richardson, first down and more. Inside the Michigan 25 to the 24. Can you talk enough? But we're checking off. Five receivers, three to the bottom of your screen. And the quick slant is Jackson. He'll run away from everybody. Touchdown, Appalachian State. And they are jumping up and down and celebrating on the Appalachian State sideline and in the crowd. And wouldn't you? You shoot Jackson to catch the ball and go into the end zone. Well, we talked about as a uh, one after. And he's back to throw. Pump fake. Fired to Massey across the middle. And a first down for the Wolverines to the Appalachian. Penny a pump fake. And again up top looking for Manningham in the corner. And again, spectacular coverage by Justin Wose. Lynch. Charging from his free safety position, Henny out of the shotgun. Quick throw as he is drilled by Lynch and incomplete. Michigan turns it over on downs. And Lynch looking to the sidelines a lot. He often get the play and the check from the sideline. Second and five, another handoff and another Mountaineer first down. Richardson stays on his feet and he's to the 33 yard. Got the check from the sidelines to make the call. Edwards going to keep it himself and another first down. Inside the 10, down to the 8-yard line. You saw Edwards look to his sideline again, checking off. And he's just trying to go up 14 if they get into the end zone. will find the end zone, touchdown Mountaineers! This electrifying sophomore quarterback. And he hurdles in to put them up two scores. Across the middle, the catch is made by Arrington, and he's to midfield, the clock continues to run after they reset the chain. Penny to Matthews, and he's to the 13-yard line. The clock continues to run. He did not get out of bounds, so it's under a minute. Don't be surprised here. You got Matthews, you got Massey, number 83, the tight end, who could be a target. Penny to the corner and just throws it away. Great move by him. He, he has not kicked a field goal in a real game since high school in 2003. And bangs it right down the middle. You know he had the butterflies waiting until the final.
Intercepted. First mistake of the day made by Edwards. Was in the backfield. Again, not Mike Hart. And they hand it off. And a big gain by Miner. Inside the 30 to the 20. And a short drop. Incomplete. He had an eye on Matthews, so the Wolverines' decision time. And it's good. Well done by Gingell. Over. And he'll keep it himself. And again, big running room for Armonte Edwards. That play has been there every time they've called it. That'll be an 11 yard. The clock now down to seven. Here they come after Edwards. Steps up, throws to Hillary to the 15 yard line. And spy on all these receivers. There they do come. They're loaded up. And Edwards finds an open receiver. And he dropped the football to freshman Brian Quick. From 31 yards out. And it is good. So Brian Quick. And, and, and look at the coaching staff on the Michigan sideline. Second down and four. And again, it's minor and the ball is loose. And it looks like Appalachian State is recovered. And that is because they have. So with Mike Hart on the bench. In the way from you. Third and seven. Foreman who left a short while to go injured is back in the game. He was in motion. And down goes Edwards. Did not try and force it. Good pass rush. And good coverage. Is 48 yards. Roush puts a leg on it. And it draws back off the upright. And five of ten on third down today. Henning. Fires to the far side, too tall for Massey. Double covered was a tight end, and that's where Henny threw the lane. Edwards in trouble. And the ball is loose. And the Wolverines have recovered. It looked like Cravel stripped it in John. Under a minute here to go in the third quarter. And Hart will get it yet again. He covers up the football better than any back in the country. And he has a first down. Hart again. And into the end zone is Mike Hart. The great desire. The great leadership of Mike Hart. He's in a four receiver set. And he bobbles the ball. And will not get in. That's a big stop right there by Apple. Heads of Appalachian State. Edwards fires behind the intended target, Hillary. In the corners. And they hand it off to Hart. They hold. Inside the 30, down to the 27. Roman losing his hand. First and 15. They play fake to Hart. Rolling right handy, being chased by Banks. Throws across his body and intercepted. Leonard Love shoved out of bounds. What a huge play by Leonard Love in the Mountaineer defense. Field possession game here now. They hand it off on third down. No, play fake. They're going for a first down. Intended throw across the middle. It has come to play. Second down, and they stay on the ground. And Hart breaks into the open field and is shoved out of bounds close to midfield. And Hart joins. Biggest play of the game offensively for Michigan. Penny. Fires. What a catch made by Matthews. First down. Massey in motion. Henning under center. Steps up. And he will run. And is shy of the first down to the 33 yard line. They need to get to the 28. Was Trip Hart's a good receiver if they can get him out in the pattern. He may have to stand and block. They're going to throw. And they step up. And incomplete. 
So Appalachian State takes over on downs. Looking. Five receivers set. And they're coming after Edwards. And they got it. Crable again. And a chance to beat Ohio State. Something this senior class has never done. A chance to win a Big Ten. And now Hart, the senior. Still on his feet. Cuts it back the other way. Hart to the 10. To the 5. Touchdown. They'll give it to Miner, and he falls down. So for the second time today, the Wolverines fail on a two-point conversion. Throw. Intercepted. Brandon Engelman. Plenty to throw on third down and ten in the Pats. Thrown down to the 29-yard line, so it'll bring up fourth down for the right, for Appalachian State. Sean Griffin, the snapper. Nesco, the holder. Gingell, the kicker. And that is blocked to the line of scrimmage. And they're telling him, don't touch it. Second down, they're coming after Edwards. And he gets it away, caught by Corman. Dances away from one tackler down the sideline to the 40-yard line. What a... And Appalachian State getting close. Here they come again. And the catch is made by Battishon again. Remember, Appalachian State out of timeouts. Can Sean Crable do it again? Edwards rolling left. Throws across the middle. Caught by Hillary all the way to the five-yard line. Now, Michigan's got to think about time. One of the greatest upsets in the history of college football. And it is good. A two-point lead for Appalachian State. And right now, the guys in the middle of the field, 47, Corey Lynch, 22, Leonard Love. A lot of pressure on them. They can't let anyone behind them. Penny steps up, puts it in the air down the sideline, looking for Manningham. A flag is down. He caught the ball at the 20-yard line. Now, what's the call? It'll be Jason and Gingell. Out of the hole to Mesco. Good snap, good hold, and the kick is blocked! Appalachian State has stunned the college football world! One of the greatest upsets in sports history! Blocked by Corey Lynch! What a day, what a day. Charles, the biggest upset in the history of football for you, yes or no? For me, yes. For me, but yes. Send it back to Chicago. What a start.